guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. If you are returning back to my channel, then hello, welcome back, and thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. And if you are new here, hi guys, my name is Katie. I post new fandom Disney Harry Potter unboxing haul videos, something along those lines <laughs> every single week and I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of our little corner of the internet. So today I wanted to go through some mail that I have received over the past couple weeks. Some things uh, I purchased, I um, actually have two, th I guess, let's see, two things that I purchased and one thing that one of you lovely people sent over to me. So I thought that I would share with you guys everything that I got. Um, so I'm going to start with a pin that I picked up. Well, I didn't pick it up, but <laughs> um, my wonderful friends, Abby and Hope over at the Disney Sisters, they had an extra pin that I was not able to get my hands on. Um, when I was down in the parks, I had mentioned it in my haul video, I think that I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it. They sent me a message and said, hey, we have an extra one in case you're interested. Um, we'd be happy to send it your way. So um, I purchased it off of them and I am so, so thankful for them. So thank you ladies, you guys are so wonderful. Um, and it is one of the pins from Flower and Garden and it is the Minnie Mouse one. I just thought that this was so cute. This is a limited edition pin so they were long gone by the time I got down there. Um, but it is the same design that's on pretty much all of the other merchandise but I just, they always suck me in with the mini illustrations that they do for, um, for Flower and Garden last year. I, I thought it was so cute. I think I ended up getting a Tervis um, tumbler, and then this year I, I got the shirt. I got um, I have a mug that I got from my Bippity Boppity boxes, and then I got this pin. Um, and I love that there's like rubberized elements on here too. It's just so cute. I love the colors. I love everything about it. And so this was a limited edition pin of 4,000 so not a terribly low limited edition size by any means but um, they were gone by the time I got down there or at least I did not see them by the time I got down there so um, I'm grateful to wonderful friends who are happy to help me out and so here is their super cute card which I absolutely love so of course I will link to their channel down below if you guys are not already subscribed to them definitely go subscribe to their channel and then here is my sweet little pin it's so so cute I love it so much and I cannot wait to put it on my parks board. So then the next thing that I have to open is from a subscriber. Um, her name is Katie also. <laughs> she reached out to me and asked if um, she could send me a couple things that she thought that would be perfect for my collection. So Katie, truly thank you so, so much for sending some stuff my way. Um, I had started opening everything up, but she actually packaged it so cute and it kind of seems like a lot of fun to open up so I wanted to open it up with you guys so she said I have a few items for you when I saw one of your videos I knew I had the perfect thing for you now my husband cleaned up an area of the house and that's where it was so I had to substitute it <laughs> please open the items that are numbered one through three thank you for all your content I think your channel and you are so amazing hopefully you enjoy this small package the number I the numbered items used to belong to my mother-in-law she is no longer with us and I know that she would have wanted me to pass on the joy she was an amazing lady I wish you all the joy and happiness one of your biggest fans Katie so thank you so much Katie I truly appreciate it and it means so much to me that you're passing along something that was a part of your family and I hope that I can give it as good of a home as I'm sure your mother-in-law did um, and she also passed along a photo of herself with her husband which I thought was so cool because then I get to see what she looks like too since you guys get to see me all the time <laughs> it's nice to put um, faces with names of everybody who I'm talking to online so let's see find number one and here it is it is wrapped up in tissue paper it has some fun washi tape with um, all of the different clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds from like the playing cards. Oh fun! Okay, so this is a promotional, looks like a promotional button from Fantasia 2000, um, which is so cool. So it has a bunch of the different segments from Fantasia 2000, which is so cool. I actually remember um, taking a field trip in school because I was in band was I in band and chorus at that time? No. I think I was in middle school, so I was in either or. I can't remember. I did end up switching at some point to from band to chorus, so I can't remember which 
at which time, but regardless. Um, so we took a field trip to go see Fantasia 2000, um, which I was super excited about because you guys know I love Fantasia. So, um, and anything Disney. So I was just super jazzed that they were like, oh, we're going to take you out of school and make you go see something Disney. And everyone was like, Ugh. and I was like, yes. <laughs> so, um, I will say it's been a while since I've actually seen Fantasia 2000, but I'm very excited to watch it when it comes on to Disney plus I would imagine, um, that it'll be there. So I'm excited to give it a second watch. So thank you, Katie. This is really cool. number two. There it is. Oh, how cool. Oh my gosh. What an awesome piece of like Disney kind of history here. So we have um, the Aladdin two disc special edition first time on DVD October 5th. This is so cool. So it has the genie, it has Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu on the magic carpet. It has the Cave of Wonders. It has Jafar. This is so cool. I love this. This is so fun. These must have been from like the Disney store. I would have to think that like maybe the cast members would wear these. Um, or maybe this was like a gift with purchase or something, but I'm loving these. So Katie, thank you. You are like hitting this out of the park. These are so cool. Okay, so package number three. Oh, how fun. Katie, this is so cool, thank you. So it is another button, and this is Mickey's House of Villains. Um, they kinda took over the House of Mouse, and this one is new on DVD and video September 3rd. This is awesome. So we have Mickey, and then we have Ka, we have Captain Hook, um, Hades, Ursula, Jafar, Cruella and the Queen of Hearts. That is so cool. I think this is uh, this has been on Netflix. I'm pretty sure, and I think I might have seen bits and pieces of it on the Disney Channel or Disney Junior or something. But I've never seen it the whole way through. Um, but I definitely need to because I'm sure I would love it so much because I just love the style of the way that they drew these villains. Cruella honestly looks so fierce in this thing. I love it so much. Um, oh my god, this is really cool. Katie, thank you so much. I truly love this. And I think there's one more thing in here that's in like a satchel. Oh, we got a couple small things. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god, I love this. Yes! I love these. Okay, so this is Jasmine, like, kind of is like a badass. Um, <laughs> down at the, the, on the boardwalks at the Jersey Shore. I live in New Jersey, um, so the ocean is right there. And along the boardwalks, there's like all sorts of stores and stuff. And a lot of them are just like screen printing t-shirt stores. Um, and they have a ton of these. And there was one that I saw last year. I want to say it might have been Ariel that I really wanted to get and that I never did. But if I go, if, when I go back down to the shore this year, I'm going to probably pick one up because I love these. Um, I was going to get the Jasmine one, but my only hiccup with this that I wish she wasn't doing was smoking. I wish she wasn't smoking. And not that she is smoking, but she's holding a cigarette. I love this. Don't get me wrong. I love this, but I'm just mad about the fact that like they gave her a cigarette. But she just looks so cool in this. And I truly, I love this so much. I'm putting this on. I have like a whole little like plastic storage crate thing over there that I'm just like slathering in stickers and this will go over there. So thank you so much. I love this so, so much. I think it was Ariel. Now it's going to bother me which one that I didn't get. Because I think that they had like this one, they had an Alice in Wonderland one. And there was one other one that they had like at pretty much every store. And then there were a couple other ones that were kind of hit or miss or that were, you know, in some stores and not in the other ones. But it's a whole thing because then you have to like pick the shirt that you want and then you have to wait for it. And who has the time? So maybe this time I'll find it, put my order in, go grab an ice cream cone or something, come back in a little bit and have it ready and ready to go because I love these. I love when they make them so like badass with their tattoos and their lipstick all dark and stuff. I just, 
love this. And then the last thing that I have in here are, oh my gosh, these are stickers too. How cute. Um, so they're like 3D stickers. They're kind of like pop-up stickers. And they're all different Zoom Zooms. So we have on the top it says Zoom Up with Piglet. I think Daisy and Minnie, and then the middle one it says group selfie, but T-S-E-L-F-I-E, -E, with Stitch, Marie, Piglet, Alice, Daisy, and Tigger, and then on the bottom it's just a Zoom stack with Piglet, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Thumper, Pluto, White Rabbit, Cheshire Cat, and Dale. These are so, so cute. for sending this stuff along to me I will give it a great home I promise I love everything 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 so thank you so so much I truly appreciate you thinking of me and so the last little bit of magic mail that I wanted to share with you guys is actually an order that I recently placed and got in from Wishes Candle Company um, the last Wishes Candle that I got was in my bippity boppity box and I just realized how long it has been since I placed an order with Wishes. And then they came out with a new one that sounded amazing to me, so it was kind of kismet. They were having a sale, um, all this good stuff. So I was like, you know what, let me grab a couple Wishes candles. Um, I did mention this in my Bippity Boppity Boxes unboxing when I did get that candle, but I am affiliated with Wishes candles. Um, I mainly talk about it on my Instagram, but I was like, you know what, why the heck not talk about it on YouTube as well. So I am affiliated with them. Um, I have a coupon code, which is just Mooney. That's going to get you 10% off your order over there. Um, I'll leave a link down below to their website in case you have not checked them out yet, but I just adore their candles so much. I love all of their scents. They do such a wonderful job. I have several downstairs that again are <laughs> because I'm terrible at burning candles, um, that I have had that I haven't burned yet. Um, there's a couple that are going to be great for fall, which I'm really excited for, but for the summertime, I wanted to get some fresh, light ones to burn. So let me show you guys a couple of the little extras that you get in your package. So the first thing that you're going to get is your do's and don'ts for burning your candles. This has some very important information on it. But then you also get these super, super cute stickers from Pretty Sheepy. It's just a little sticker um, sampler um, sheet. But being that I've started planning, um, I mean, I've been following Pretty Sheepy for a while and I've been wanting to order some something from them. Um, but you do get a coupon code at the top, which is great. But they'd switch these out, I think seasonally maybe, um, or just maybe it happens to be like once a quarter. But for this little sticker sheet, we get some candles. We have the genie's lamp. We have we must always believe in our wishes with the blue fairy down at the bottom. We have Dumbo. We have a Dole Whip. We have a carousel horse, which I love. And we have a bow and then one of what looks to be one of the penguins from Mary Poppins. Um, I love the style of everything over at Pretty Sheepy. I think that their stuff is so adorable. So I will definitely be using this coupon code to save myself some money when I place my order. So the first candle that I picked up, the whole reason why I even decided to go ahead and make this order was their newest candle which is called Tiki Serenade. I love the color on this candle and pink and green are one of my favorite color combinations. So as soon as I saw this color combo, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need that. Um, so the color com or the scent combination rather is juicy fruits, hibiscus, coconut, and sugar. And I actually really like that they have the, um, the description on the label. So this is also one of their, I want to say designer labels, but I don't think that that's what they're called. So give me a second. I can figure it out because um, they do generally have different labels on their candles um, and I will say that like that their traditional label is kind of what drew me to them because they think that they're very clean and very classic looking. Um, but I love when they have different designs on their jars. And so this is designed by an artist named Lane Martin. Oh wow, so this is actually a very... Wow, wow, okay, this is a very... Um, involved scent description. It is a lot more than just just what it says on here. Um, so I think that these are the notes. So the top notes are apple, pineapple, peach, red fruits, and dewy green. The middle is ozonic, hibiscus, jasmine, muguet, and 
xylem in. <laughs> and then the bottom are coconut musk and caramelized sugar. So I don't know if that's notes or if that's like kind of layered as you burn through that you're going to start to um, smell those scents a little bit more as you get through. But I don't know, regardless, I am jazzed about this candle. And as with All Wishes Candle Company candles, um, not only do you get this gorgeous new lid, which I just love, that says hand poured in Rhode Island, a little magic in every candle. Um, but it is covered in glitter on the inside and look at how pretty that is. I love watching these as they burn down because the glitter just looks so beautiful. Um, and they do have a pin inside every um, candle as well. Um, they are not authentic Disney pins, but they are fun little treats. I come for the candles. I don't like, I think that the pin is fun, but you know, it's not the reason why I buy this. The reason why I buy this is for the candles. But yeah, this just smells really, really lovely and very light and very fresh and very summery. can just kick back, relax, close my eyes and pretend to be singing away with some birds and some flowers and some tiki gods. And I'm all about that. So the sale that they were having when I bought this was if you buy this candle, then you can get 15% off your whole order. So I did end up buying one other candle and I've had my eye on this one too. Um, so this one has the regular label on it and this one is called Dreaming in Orange. It is a beautiful orange shade and I love these labels that are just clear and simple and you can just see the candle and it kind of just lets the beauty of the candle come through because um, they have so many fun colored candles so I think that I love how the clear label just lets you see that um, so let me get the scent description for you guys for this one too so the scent description on this one is cream orange vanilla and citrus so it'll be like having a nice citrus orange citrus float hmm. again just like you're in Disney and same thing with this one it has the gorgeous glitter I think it's like the same color glitter and this one is in that one. And this just smells so good. Like the orange isn't super overpowering. It's just like a nice mixture. They really smell the cream and the vanilla and the orange together. And it's just really nice. So yeah, I'm excited. Ooh, don't glitter all over myself apparently. Oh my glitter everywhere. Um, so I'm excited to get these burning. That is everything guys that I have for you for today. I truly hope that you enjoyed watching me open some fancy magic mail and all of that good stuff. Um, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you please and you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.